friends, how are y'all doing today? How are you really doing? Are you struggling today? It's okay because I had a struggle day yesterday, but the struggle just helps you to renew your mind and get back to a place so that you can find more grace in the depths of God's love for you. So let's look at, we're going to do a Bible study. My goodness, do I need this today? We are in Romans 8. It's one of my favorite chapters. It's one of my favorite chapters because there's so much truth and there's so much power in this chapter for you personally. If you are struggling, you need to renew your mind. Okay? Don't breeze past things. It's easy to do to breeze past and to just whoop, zip right past truth, but the truth needs to penetrate in your heart so that you can start again. Okay, so we're going to jump in Romans 8. We're in Romans 8 in the New Living Translation. So now there is no condemnation. Everybody say now. Say now. Not all oh, when we get to heaven. There is now. This is the gospel message. There is now. No, so sorry. So now. So now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. In verse 2, and because you belong to him, the power of the life-giving spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. So there's a life-giving spirit. This spirit is not a religious spirit. This spirit is not a list of 10 rules for you to do. It is a life-giving spirit, a life-giving indwelling spirit to energize this mortal body. Amen? So, and because you belong to him, the power of the life-giving spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. The law of Moses was unable, say unable, to save us because of the weakness of our sinful nature. So God did what the law could not do. He sent his only son in a body like the bodies we sinners have. And in that body, God declared an end to sin's control over us by giving his son as a sacrifice for our sins. He did this so that the just requirement of the law would be fully satisfied, say fully satisfied for us. Hallelujah. Who no longer follow our sinful nature, but instead follow the spirit. So praise God, we can follow like a cross roads, right? I, I love that uh, road not taken, right? Robert Frost, it makes all the difference. Which road are you going to take? You do have a choice. And it's not, don't think, don't like minister to your carnal nature and forget what Christ has done on the cross. He's the one that has totally stripped away the power of sin so that sin does not have dominion over us. So don't minister to your carnal nature. Just be aware of that life-giving spirit that he's already given you as a gift and follow that instead. So praise God. He did this so that the just requirement of the law would be satisfied for us who no longer follow our sinful nature, but instead follow the spirit. Those who are dominated by the sinful nature, think about sinful things. So dominated. If you think about a domineering personality, someone who is large and in charge and it's calling the shots, is your sinful nature calling the shots? Is it? Is it? Is it taking, you know, front and center? Is it magnified or is it minimized? You know, you can minimize a screen when you're on the computer and it's, it was big and now it's not big. So we need to minimize the sinful nature and maximize what Christ has done at the cross. So those who are dominated by the sinful nature think about sinful things, but those who are controlled by the Holy Spirit think about the things that please the Spirit. So letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death. Okay, so 
I love the word because, first of all, you have to believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. If you are arguing with the word, then you really haven't entered into living faith. But you just have to like receive what I'm saying because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, right? So what we do is we say, so letting your sinful nature, letting your sinful nature controls your mind leads to death. And I mean, you know, you can always see, you know, what kind of fruit are you having? Are you having the fruit of the spirit? Are you having love, joy, peace, patience, long suffering and love for others? Is that is what's, you know, fruiting from your branches as you're abiding in him? Or are you having jealousy, frustration, anger, uh, fits of rage, strife, envy, discord? You know, we can look at uh, other passages like Galatians 5, when, we're have, when we have liberty in the spirit versus Galatians uh, 6, where we, where we see the things that are, are contrary. So I love the Bible because it's all congruent. There's all these living truths that are woven in parallel together. So, okay, so where was I? Okay, so letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death, but letting the spirit control your mind leads to life and peace. Isn't that what we always want, right? We want the spirit to control our mind, but somehow, um, when we're caught off guard, we will start going the other way and we, and we let our sinful nature, uh, you know, we, we say, oh, you can be in charge when no, no, we really need to let the spirit lead the way. Let the spirit lead the way. For the sinful nature is always hostile to God. So there's never gonna be a time where the sinful nature is all of a sudden pleasing to God. It never is. The sinful nature is always hostile to God. It never did obey God's laws, and it never will. That's why those who are still under the control of their sinful nature can never please God, okay? But you are not controlled by your sinful nature. You are controlled by the Spirit if you have the Spirit of God living in you if you have the Spirit of God living in you. And you know, I tell you what, when you are born again, you know when you have the Spirit of God living in you. And remember that those who do not have the Spirit of Christ living in them do not belong to Him at all. And Christ lives within you, so even though your body will die because of sin, the Spirit gives you life because you have been made right with God. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. What a peace. What a peace. And it, I tell you what, you know, we have been given this spirit, this Holy Spirit. Uh, it's, it's the justification. We are, we've been given the spirit. We've been made right uh, with God because of what Christ has done. So because of this, because of this awesome news, why would we choose to let the sinful nature dominate? Why? Because it's sneaky. The sinful nature is sneaky. It'll slip right in if you don't take time to renew your mind. So that's what we're doing right now. So it, we, are, we are in Christ. And Christ lives within you, so even though your body will die because of sin, the Spirit gives you life because you have been made right with God. The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. And just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead, He will give life to your mortal bodies. Oh, this is good news. By the same Spirit living within you. Hallelujah. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, you have no obligation, oh, I like this passage, no obligation to do what your sinful nature urges you to do. Oh, can we pause right there? You have no obligation. So if you're feeling the dark tug of your sinful nature, you can stand up and say, no, I don't think so. You can unsubscribe from your sinful nature. Let's have the unsubscribe tribe, right? Where we unsubscribe from our old carnal nature and not let it be in charge, in charge of us. So therefore, dear, it's, you know, it's hard to hear dear brothers and sisters when you feel 
condemnation or the full of the pull of darkness, right? But listen, listen to what he's saying. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, you have no obligation to do what your sinful nature urges you to do. For if you live by its dictates, you will die. Aren't you glad for truth? But if through the power of the Spirit you put to death the deeds of your sinful nature, you will live. That's resurrection power, my friend. It's available for you now, in this hour. For all who are led by the Spirit are children of God. Hallelujah. So you have not received a spirit that makes you fearful slaves. Instead, you receive God's Spirit when He adopted you as His own children. Now we call him Abba Father. For his spirit joins with our spirit to affirm that we are God's children. And since we are God's children, we are his heirs. In fact, together with Christ, we are heirs of God's glory. But if we are to share his glory, we must also share his suffering. So praise the living God. You know, sometimes it may seem easier to just let our sinful nature be in charge and just let it blow us whichever way the wind carries us. But we don't have to do that. We can see the fruit of the Spirit in our lives knowing that as our we receive this living faith, this living truth, we receive this living truth by living faith and we enter in by the grace of God. We can see it work out in our lives. So if you're struggling with your old carnal nature, don't minister to your old carnal nature. Let the spirit of life who dwells in you, let that have supremacy. So praise God. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope that you enjoyed renewing your minds together. Please like and subscribe for future videos. I also like to do creative tutorials and uh, share my life and thoughts with you. So hope you have a great day. Be blessed.